Hello everyone, welcome back to my let's play of Alan Wake. In the last episode, we got a nice tour around Dr. Hartman, Dr. Emil Hartman, uh, his clinic here, and they've met a few crazy people. It's got us thinking, are we crazy? Well, what's going on exactly? There's a storm coming. It's about to all go down, I think. And I've been told to go back to my room to try and type, and I feel like we're going to get a cutscene of some kind. Maybe even some spooks. Build up something. Oh, here we go. I knew it. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Why don't you just, like, lock me in my room, if you're that worried? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Alright, let's escape this place. Investigate racket. Why can't I just, like, find an exit? Go out the window. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Nothing in there. Emerson? Nothing to pick up. Still kind of jealous that he's got an Xbox and I don't. That's not fair. Hello. Oh, the bloody Thor and well, Tor and Odin is the other guy called. I don't know. They're crazy. They're crazy. I do like his hammer though. Why the hell are the stairs? How do I go down? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, manuscript page. Alan Wake, you know what to do. Barry in the lodge. Oh, Barry! I miss him. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. Oh no, Barry's gonna get it. Oh man. Everyone's getting locked up. This place is stupid. Barry? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office room from Sinclair. What has happened here? I will take these keys though. I had to get Come to Hartman's on, office. He had taken first. all my manuscript pages. That's piper. where he'd be keeping them. Well, why am I getting the manuscript pages when Maybe I've... No, oh, whatever. Did we not establish that the person who supposedly had kidnapped Alice was lying and they didn't actually want the pages and stuff? I don't, I don't know what's going on. Is there anything in here? The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Alright, let's do it. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent, he's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Well, 
Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but Doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's exactly what she said in the phone call we got from her. Interesting. And Hartman's got access to this tape. Hartman is behind all this somehow. There's something going on. Ah, oh, it's... The answers are there. I just can't quite piece it all together. Let's read this instead. What is this? How do we miss all these pages already? Mott fails Hartman. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. See, Hartman's evil. What was that guy we saw in the last episode, right? Who got like, or well, the one before that, who got sort of taken away by the darkness. I think the one who was sort of pretending to be the kidnapper. Hmm. Just, I just don't know what's going on. Great picture. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. There you go, that's Mott, isn't it? What is Hartman playing here? What is his... Hartman, do you hear me? Hello? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to... <gasps> it, it's Barry! Barry! Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. Me too. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy out. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... What's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. <laughs> yeah, that'll teach her. I don't know why I climbed up here, but now I kind of just want to, like, elbow drop Barry. <laughs> I almost got on his head, though. That was pretty cool. I'm so glad to see you, Barry. It's been so long. <sighs> Never thought I'd say that, but I do. I've missed you. Open this lock. It's my gun. And the paper, I guess, but mostly the gun. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more shoot line him. and I'll shoot you in the face. Do it. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Uh-oh. Is he dead? Is he dead? Look at that smile on his face. He knows. He knows what's just happened. Oh. Can't celebrate just yet. The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Alright. Did I just get something? Hartman watched his wake fall. What? Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning, even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, 
something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Yeah, so that's how he got me after I fell into the, into the river. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's do this. Run. Oh, God. How do I get out? Oh, no. What? Hey. Quick. Oh, no. It's been a long while since I played this. I'm not ready. How do I get out? Well, not that way, I guess. Please don't close. Damn it. Oh, no. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves uh -oh. out of my way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might die here. I don't know where to start. I haven't got I haven't got a torch either. What am I doing? Ow! Um What what do I what do I do? I go this way? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm kind of trapped here. Is there a torch behind here or something? No. Feeling pretty dumb right now. Uh, oh. Oh, upstairs, upstairs. Thanks, I was kind of stuck there. Here we go. So I forgot about that stuff. Please let me get to the... Please let me get to it. Please give me a torch, that's what I need. Start. No, don't jump. Start. A. 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 Oh my god, so forever. Focus. Oh, okay, well there's a lot of stuff in there. Is it all gonna just die now because of the light? Please do. It's all good. It's all good. Just stay here where it's safe and watch all this stuff die. Okay. Is there anywhere else for me to actually go? Or... Any for me to pick up, perhaps? Can I go this way? Nope. Damn it. I don't want to go back down there. It's scary. Look at all the stuff that's floating about. Oh. Let's see what happens. So, oh, I actually just got a pistol. With six bullets. That's all I have. Okay. Now what do I do? Oh, it's open. Run. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Wow, oh, we're not good. Fine. Give me some stuff. Flares. I don't care, just give me stuff. Give me more stuff, ideally. More than one flare. Oh, no. Hello? Uh. Do I just use a flare to burn this away? Am I the smartest man alive? Please flare, don't die before these die. Good. Thank you. TV's gonna turn on. Come on, TV. What you got? Nothing. Manuscript page. Hartman's mission. Here we go. Let's find out what he's up to. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here. Damaged in ways that were hard to describe. Or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction. To be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Hmm. So maybe Alan does have actually like an ability to, to write things that then come true. And Hartman, want, Hartman wanted to just use him basically to, I don't know, create some kind of world. Use this. What? Why are you watching the car? Is that the car Barry's gonna get? <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. Okay. Whatever, I guess. Ah! Noises. Shakiness. I just wanna get out of here. Checkpoint reached. Why. Why can't I go through the door? Well, okay. You gonna open the door for me? Nearly. Just one more time, that'd be perfect. 
Ow! Don't hit me with it. How am I supposed to get by? How am I supposed to get by? Ah, uh, that was impossible. It was absolutely impossible. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Help. Help, please. Please. Is this, is this the exit? Am I out? The door won't open. Do I have to use the this thing to... Oh, no. This isn't going to end well, is it? Come through the door, you idiot. This way. Come on. No, you have to get underneath the door. Oh, okay. I'm going to die here, aren't I? I'm going to have to like, hide here. Cover some health. Oh. I don't really know the, the dodging... Mechanics! Oh, it's a mistake. Ow. Move. Oh, I couldn't move. I was trapped in the corner. And if you touch it, you take damage. Well, I guess that's why you get a checkpoint there. Come on, let's do it again. Alright. We just need to get the timing down, but it's a big object anyway, especially in this corridor. How the hell are you supposed to dodge it? I can't. I haven't got anything to put on it. No, like, torch or anything. No light. I can shoot it, and that's not really going to do much, I don't think. Come on. Almost get through there. Almost. Oh! Oh, I'm the best. Around. Nothing's gonna ever keep me down. Come back this way. There you go. Perfect. And then you wanna go here? Come on. Yeah! I got trapped in the corner again. Get out! Get out! Get out! And. Ow! It just caught me, but I'm outside. We made it. Barry, open the gate. Open the gate, because it's clearly not going to be working, is it? I need to find a generator to open the gate. The car, but the gate's locked. You're going to have to go through the hedge maze over there. Of course I am. Barry, I don't have a light. Give me it. Take this, Al. Let me take it. Oh, God. Look at the house, Al. Look out. Oh, my God. Get out of there, Alan. Run. Run, Alan Wake. Don't look back. Oh, crap. The door's evil. Ah. Open. Open it, please. Open, move. There we go. Oh, I'm fine, Barry. Don't worry about it. I've got some flares. I've got some battery. Sponsor! It's been a while. Anything else around here? Got like a shovel I could take. Uh, like a jerry can. Bucket, a barrel. That's pretty much all I could ask for. Okay, I'm all healed. Time for a hedge maze, I guess. Oh, wait, what's up here? Anything? Manuscript page? Coffee? Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Tell you what, guys. Managed to get off here. It's been nearly 20 minutes still. In the next episode, I guess we'll be going for the maze. Hopefully we can escape this place. We can reunite with Barry. Get out of here. Hopefully kill Dr. Hartman if he's not already dead. I don't think he is. I think he's got away with it. I think he's, he's in cahoots with the darkness. Kind of. So, uh, yeah. I don't think he's gone just yet. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.